Hello and welcome to my official review of the Army Painter Speed Paint Starter Set. I have chosen to review the starter set just by itself, as I have not been able to get the other Army Painter Speed Paints just yet. Talked to my local game store today, and they are still on the way. So, while we wait for those, here are my thoughts on the Army Painter Speed Paint Starter Set. The set comes with 10 colors. We have the first six colors, which are our colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. This is really nice because some starter sets just don't come with all six of these sort of color wheel colors. You might find some that are missing purple or missing yellow or missing orange. At least those are the three colors I found commonly left out. This includes them, which is very nice. I like that it has this purple. It's a nice dark purple. And I think purple's a great color that you can kind of find your way to, you know, use on just about any kind of model. So it's always nice to add a little bit of purple. I love the orange. I like to add a little bit of a splash of orange to my uh, miniatures. It's kind of my signature thing, and orange is my favorite color. A couple of notes on these colors. I, so I like the purple a lot. The blue is not an ultramarine blue. So if you are an ultramarine player, check out the blue on the orc. Is that speed paint there? To me, that is just a little bit too light for an ultramarine. Now, maybe you want your ultramarines to stand out, be a little light. I think that this is too light of a blue for that, so if you're buying this to paint something like ultramarines, I would wait for the darker blue. I really love the orc skin. It's great for orcs. It's a little bit brighter than most orc skins you see, but that's just fine. My orcs need a little bit of diversity. And I like having a variety of skin tones among my orcs. The yellow is definitely on the orange side. That's okay. I tend to shade my yellow with orange anyways. So I am completely fine with that. In fact, I bet this yellow speed paint would work nicely as an orange kind of shade or a, you know, something similar to that. The orange is definitely pretty close to brown. If you look at it here over white primer, you'll see yeah, the orange on the pants different than the brown on the leather. However, once you start getting darker primers, it starts to kind of seem a little more brown. This is Death Guard green, and the green undertone is not helping it any. Take a look at those orange pants. Definitely look very similar to that brown belt and those brown straps. So do keep that in mind with this orange. It's definitely on the brown side. Over something like Citadel Grey Seer, it is definitely still orange, though you can start to see, even with that little bit of gray, how it, it's just kind of a little bit on that brown side. That's okay, though. It's still a good color. The red's a great color overall. I really like these six paints, and I'm glad we have all of the colors of the rainbow. The other four colors, I have to say, I really like that they've chosen to include these colors. So, we have Pallid Bone. I hate painting orc teeth. The reason why, if you look at an orc, see those teeth? Right next to them, all around those teeth, is green skin. That's so why I will tend to shade the teeth with a brown shade, like a, a strong tone, or something like that from the Army Painter or an Agrax Earthshade. With this speed paint, it's a one coat and done. Versus the skin around the teeth, I tend to shade with a green. And so, since I'm using two different shades, I have to go and shade that little area after I paint it. I like the one and done of this pallid bone. Works really nicely. Crusader skin, I do not paint a lot of a sort of humanoid skin or human skin, and so doesn't really do much for me that this is in here, but I do like that it's in here. I also like that this hardened leather works for a darker skin tone as well. 
So it's nice to have a little bit of diversity in the skin tones, even if it doesn't say skin on the bottle. This hardened leather is a nice middle of the road kind of leather color. I'm really happy with it. Gravelord Gray, nice middle of the road gray. Yes, I want a white. Yes, I want a black. But for now, this gray will work. Look at that, Choppa. Almost has a little bit of a non-metallic metal feel, which is kind of a trend in painting right now. I'm not going to say it's one coat non-metallic metal, but it's non-metallic and it's metal, so it's doing the job, at least for this miniature. Get them on the table. Put them on the table. There it is. Looks nice. More thoughts on the Army Painter Speed Paint. Let's talk about consistency and handling. So this is the big question, I think, for the Army Painter Speed Paints, is how do they handle what's their consistency like? All of these speed paints have a very similar consistency. There is a little bit of a difference in with the Orc skin. It's slightly more opaque. So there's a difference in some of these colors are what I would call like transparent or like a clear but not colorless versus some of the other ones are they're more opaque like they're not a clear completely transparent color so orc skin is not completely transparent that's okay it's fine the nice thing about them is they're all very similar consistencies and they all kind of pull away from those high points and shade into those recesses similarly this is something that is not true of the Citadel Contrast. I find too much variance among the Citadel Contrast. Another thing I really like, you've got those mixing bowls in there, you've got the dropper bottles. I'm a huge fan of the dropper bottles, and I appreciate that I don't have to take off the cap and install the mixing bowls in each of these paints. All right, we have to talk about reactivation. And I had a little bit of... Uh, some touch-ups that I had to do on this guy, especially on this leather strap on his shoulder. And it turns out that reactivation is not the big issue that people are saying it is. I'm just not seeing it as a problem for me. So, I'm going to call it a non-issue. If you use two coats for your touch-ups, you're going to be able to touch up with regular acrylic paint fine. If you want to get fancier, use some enamel paint or something, that's okay too. I've heard good results with that. I am going to definitely try that, but I haven't had an opportunity to yet, though I did buy some enamel paint to do that test. So I will say reactivation, non-issue. The packaging, as far as that goes, like which colors they chose and all that, I am happy with the colors they chose if I could choose any 10 colors. So given that I have 10 choices, I'm probably going to buy these 10 colors as my first 10 colors, with the exception of the Crusader skin, because my orcs are green, right? So that's the only difference for me. For you, you might really like that Crusader skin. Really, though, I think that 10 colors is not enough. I'm very looking forward to getting some singles. It doesn't really matter what's in the starter set, though, because I can just go buy the singles I need, and that's what I'm going to do. The kit does come with a brush, and so you see on the box here, it says, free brush included. And sure enough, it does include a brush, and, well, I mean, I paid for the kit, but I guess they added it for no extra charge. This is a Wargamer Monster Brush. This is much too large for speed paint. That's my opinion. I think this is the wrong brush for this kit. It's big, it's bulky. It holds a lot of paint, which is essential for speed paint, but if you look at it compared to a model, you're not going to be able to paint like that leather strap. I could not paint that level of detail with this big fat brush. And so, it's nice that they added a brush with it. I'm going to use this brush as just a general shade and wash brush, and I wish they would have included something even like this Army Painter starter brush instead. Wouldn't that have been nice? It still holds plenty of paint, but it's thin enough that I can actually paint my details with it. I would have much preferred this brush in the kit, 
Though, should I really be complaining? It was free. Of course, if they're going to add a brush, they could have added a different brush, I guess. Oh well. Bottom line, speed paint is fast. Even painting this guy on camera, he went together pretty quickly, and then his other four friends here went together even faster. So I would say that if you want to just get some guys out on the table, speed paint is the way to go for quick, table-ready miniatures. Are there some touch-ups I could do on these? Absolutely. Do they look fine on the table? Yes. Do they look better than unpainted models? Absolutely. And so, I say that speed paint, what you're going to end up doing is probably cutting your painting time down to about a quarter of the time. Now, this is assuming you, you know, do like a, a three or four step process, right? You, well, you base coat, uh, well, you prime, you base coat, you wash, and then you highlight, like a four step process. This is a two step process. You prime and then you speed paint. And so priming, given you're going to spend that same time anyways, you've got to prime your miniatures, you're doing only one of the other three steps, which is pretty handy. So you're going to save at least, you know, two-thirds of your time of your actual painting time, minus your priming time, I would think. And that's what I really found. Now, I don't really highlight a lot anyways, but I will uh, base coat and wash. This is base coat and wash in one. So I'm painting these guys about twice as fast. Though I think that even though I'm spending half the time on them, or maybe even less, they don't look half as good. They look probably 70 to 80% as good. And so for me, that means that speed paint is a win. I like speed paint. I prefer it to contrast paint when you have the colors that you want. There are a few extra colors in contrast. We're going to be doing some color compares to figure out what of the contrast line is sticking around. Otherwise, I can buy two speed paints for the price of one contrast paint, so that's what I'm going to be going with in the future. Overall, Army Painter, I've got to give you an A on this one for this speed paint starter kit and the colors in it. You're getting the A. You're passing. Uh, good job. Uh, keep it up. I'm really curious to see what you come out with next. And to all those watching, if you want to pick up this Speed Paint Starter Set, check out your local game store. Ask them if they can get some in for you. I always like to shop at my local game store first. And, you know, pay where you play, right? You support the play space that you use for your games. Alright folks, hopefully this was helpful to you. Take care. Thanks for watching. Let's get gaming.